Greetings YouTube, it's J-Man and me the Jokester and we're here today to read you yet another episode of Jason's incredible, successful, beautiful, hilarious action cartoon sitcom The Kooplings and Bowser Jr. Show. Uh, this is episode 40 of season 4. If you've been following along you know all about this already. Uh, Jason's writing his own show about the enemies from the Super Mario universe and all the adventures they had before they were evil. And this episode is called Telling a Story 7. Now this is, the, this is sort of an episode within an episode. It's every once in a while the uh, Kooplings will try to tell each other a story, uh, a famous story from, from literature or history, and uh, things often get a little screwy. They uh, have a little trouble sticking to the script. Isn't that right, J-Man? Yeah. Okay. This episode begins with the, uh, the music from the field of Hyrule. And Wendy Koopa is going to sleep. That's playing as she's going to sleep. And suddenly, Morton Koopa Jr. comes into her room and says, Wait, do you want me to read you a bedtime story? And Wendy says, Sure. Wait a minute, are you going to read the story correctly? <laughs> Morton says, yes, of course. And I'm going to tell you the story of Peter Link. And uh, immediately Wendy knows there's trouble. She says, actually, I think you mean Peter Pan. Morton says, okay, let's get to the story. So this is where the story begins. Morton says, once upon a time, there was a sister named Wendy, and she had two brothers named Iggy and Junior. And their parents really wanted My. them... <laughs> Morton says, Once upon a time, there was a sister named Wendy with two brothers named Iggy and Junior, and their parents really wanted them to grow up. But they didn't want to grow up, so they started throwing a huge fit. Wendy interrupts Morton to say, That's not how it goes. Morton says, Oh, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Wendy, Iggy, and Junior are the only characters in this book, except for the t title character, Peter Link, who is Robin Hood's cousin. Wendy interrupts again. That's not his name. <laughs> and uh, Morton continues. So Peter Link jumps on his horse, Epona. Oh, good grief, says Wendy. Now, Epona, is that another Zelda reference? Obviously, you're, we're doing some Zelda crossover here. Is Epona a horse from Zelda? Yeah. Okay, I don't know. I don't it's his horse. Oh, okay. I didn't even know that he had a horse. I don't know much about the Zelda games. Never really played them. <clears throat> so Morton continues the story. Peter Link encounters Wendy, Iggy, and Junior tantruming. Uh, and he says, cheer up, guys. You could be younger. And so Peter Link took them not to Hyrule, which is where, where Zelda takes place or where Zelda, uh, Link lives, but he takes them to an island called Neverland where no one ever grows up. That's right, says Wendy. Wendy Koopa. Then Morton goes on, uh, as it says on the neon sign. No one, I guess there's a neon sign in Neverland that says nobody ever grows up here. And uh, suddenly they see Grouser's Doom Ship with Hip and Hop. And <laughs> Grouser is, of course, the evil version of Bowser that Jason has in the story. And Hip and Hop are the mirror universe versions of um, Iggy and Lemmy? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm catching on to this stuff. Uh, so Link, but Link immediately defeats Grouser's Doom Ship. Then Captain Hook shows up. He's named Captain Hook because a crocodile ate his hand. Now he has a hook instead. It doesn't matter though, because Link easily defeats him. And uh, <laughs> then uh, once Link, Peter Link, has defeated Captain Hook, Captain Hook dresses up like a fish, <laughs> and a crocodile eats him. I'm not sure why he <laughs> was. I don't know why he dressed up like a fish. <laughs> But mm -hmm. he did that, and the crocodile mm -hmm. ate him. Mm -hmm. So, Weggy, Weggy, Wendy, Iggy, and Junior learned their lesson uh, from all this. They decided to listen to their parents from now on. So they went home, and they grew up. And Peter Link went back to Hyrule to continue messing with chickens. Now, if you played, I know this about the Zelda games. There's a lot, a lot of them, um, you can go into this village, or the villages, and you, you can toss the chickens around, or kill the chickens, or steal the chickens. This is a staple of the Zelda games these days. I don't know if that was in the original, but I've seen you and your sister play them. I, I, get, that, I get that reference. 
So Wendy says, is it over yet? And Morton says, yes, this is the end. Wendy says, great. Do you think we'll be young forever? Morton completely ignores her question and asks one of his own. Hey, Wendy, do you like games? That's an odd question, Wendy says. Morton asks, uh, Matt, Morton changes the subject once again. What kind of inventions do you hate? <laughs> Wendy says, well, your inventions, like the crazy helmet and the dumbifier, which from previous episodes, the crazy helmet made her crazy. Dumbifier possessed her with Morton, made her stupid. <laughs> Morton says, well, I invented the perfect robot. Wendy said, that dude, no, that's not the perfect robot. That's the Wendy bot. <laughs> the Wendy bot if, is uh, a robotic version of Wendy uh, that well, is famous for doing gross things. And Wendy says, now, Wendy bot, don't you dare. But it's too late. The Wendy bot starts shooting glitter out of her butt <laughs> at the both of them. That's what the Wendy bot is uh, famous for, shooting glitter out of her butt. So, and Wendy and Morton say, oh boy. And that's yeah. the end of this episode. <laughs> the end. Pretty pretty clever stuff, Jay. I, I like the story within the story. And then the Wendy bot shows up. So, I mean, it's all, right. it's all funny. It's all uh, hilarity. Thank you very much for uh, make, letting me be a part of the... Uh, of the Kubelin and Bowser Jr. show here. I appreciate it. And I had fun listening to you tell these stories and writing them down. Do you have anything else to say to the people? You broke my nose! I'm joking. <laughs> Bye, everybody.